In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a OneNote class notebook. Now, you'll notice here that I'm viewing a class notebook here, and it's within a team, a Microsoft class team. And so um, what you're going to need to do is go to your team and then um, click on class notebook to get it set up. Now, what is Class Notebook? Well, it runs on OneNote, and OneNote is essentially a digital three-ring binder that has sections and pages within those sections. It's just a completely digitized version of a three-ring binder. But a Class Notebook has some special features in it that we'll dig into in this series of videos. Now, um, what you need to do to access your class notebook is first access your team. So to do that, I'll show you, we're going to go, uh, you just can open your internet browser and you're going to type office.com and uh, you'll log in with your work email and password. Once you are there, you're going to click into teams and you'll find the icon there with the T on it. And teams will load up here. Now, um, if you don't see all of your teams, you're going to want to click all teams up here at the top left. And this way you can browse all of your teams. Now, in Fresno Unified, your class team automatically gets generated and syncs from our student information system. So what you'll want to do is just scroll down and find your class. Now, um, they have a naming conventions to these. For example, this is a third grade class. Um, Roberto is the last name of the teacher, and we have period one attendance, grade three. So this, this is what it, it, similar uh, to what it will look like for you, and this automatically gets generated. So then you'll just click into this to access your team. Now, if you don't find your team in the list, or for some reason uh, you don't have a section in the student information system, you will need to create your own team. So over here at the top right, you're gonna click on join or create. And then you're gonna click create team right here. Now you'll notice there are four types of teams that you can create. It's very important that you choose class as the team type because only class teams come with the class notebook. All right, so then you can name your team, and really you can give it any name you want. Um, however, I recommend you include your last name in the team name, so when students are looking for it, they'll know who you are, or they'll know which team it's related to. So um, it, let's say, for example, that I teach science, and uh then i'll just put my last name and you can get uh more creative with it or however you want to name your team but just you you want to keep it short and sweet you can't have like a super long team name all right the description is optional and then we're going to go ahead and click next now here we have an opportunity to add our students and so you can manually just start typing in students names and they will come up uh, in a search result right here, you can select their name and add them. Um, I'm going to skip this for now because we want to get to the part of setting up the notebook. So here we see the team has been created and um, across the top where you have your posts area, your files, you will find class notebook. So we're going to click on class notebook and you'll see here it says, um, you know, you need to set this up. So you're going to click set up a OneNote class notebook. And this is nice. You have the option of uh, pulling from an existing notebook. Uh, so let's say you taught this course the previous year and you want to just copy over the notebook content from that other class team. You can do that and find that class team. In this case, I'm going to just start with a blank notebook. And here, uh, there, this is the explanation of what you'll have in your class notebook. You'll have a collaboration space, a content library, and student notebooks. 
We're going to click Next. Here you have a great opportunity to customize the sections within each of the student notebooks. And so the way this is going to look, just to, if I go back here to the team I was in earlier, um, this class notebook, what you'll see is that I have names of students down here within my notebook. So they have their own notebook, and then they have sections within that. In this case, they have five sections, and every student gets all five sections named exactly the same way. The purpose of this is to help you with organization and your students um, because you can push out pages to these specific sections. So I'm going to go back to the one I was setting up. And so here I can fully customize this. Let's say, for example, I don't want to call this handouts. I'm, I, I can change the name. I'd rather call this activities. Class notes I like because I want a place for my students to take their own notes. Homework, I'm not really thrilled about that either. I'm not a homework person, so I'm going to close that one. Quizzes, I'm not really going to be giving quizzes through the class notebook. I'm going to reserve that for um, my assignments tool. So I'm going to delete that one as well. And I can also add more sections. So I could um, add one here. Maybe I decided um, I want something on um, SEL, some social emotional learning activities. So I could put that in there. And so this is fully customizable. I wouldn't create too many sections in here, but also know that you can always go back in here later and add more sections or rename them. So I'm going to click Create now. And this will set up and create my class notebook, and it'll be ready for use. All right, so that is uh, how you set up your class notebook. In the next tutorial, we're going to dig into the navigation and the layout of your class notebook.